Okay, so here we are in Ubuntu 24 point whatever. And we're going to do an installer for, we're going to run an installer that I put together for uh, DaVinci Resolve. Uh, now, you, what you normally want to get is the latest drivers for DaVinci Resolve. So there's a really easy way to do that. The drivers, I mean, you want the, if you want to, this is for an NVIDIA system. I'm going to do an ATM, ATM AMD one in a, uh, after this. So you'll see an AMD one. So what I want to look for is basically a Google NVIDIA PPA. You go to this page and then proprietary drivers for GPU, go all the way down here and you'll find a couple of lines of code. So we grab those, copy, and then paste them into here and then put your password in. Oh, the correct password. This will now allow you to pull down the very latest drivers for NVIDIA. So it's going to do that, go all the way through and it's all in. So now when you go to additional drivers, it'll scan and you'll see when it does its thing. Here we go. So I've, the one I've selected, I've already installed this, is NVIDIA, you'll see a lot more drivers than you would normally would. Driver 7570, which is the latest one. There are loads on there, but that's the one you need to choose to get up to the latest version. Okay, so that's done. So next part of this is, oh, there'd be a link in the bottom of the video to download this script. And you download it into the downloads folder. It's called dr underscore dot dr underscore install dot sh. And then you want to get the zip file from, uh, from the Blackmagic website for DaVinci Resolve, either the studio or the free version, up to you and put them in the downloads folder. So once that's in the downloads folder, you need to make the DR script here executable. So you do that with ch mod, oh, mod, space plus x space, and then just drag that over, put that there. And now that's executable. Now to run it, now I've already run it on this system. So you're going to have a load of downloads and things going on, but literally it's the same thing. So and I've already installed Resolve, so it's just going to rock, just install over the top. Drag that over. So this script will pull down all the dependencies you need. There we go. It'll inflate the DaVinci Resolve zip file. And in it, find the 19.1.4 Linux file. And in a second, it'll launch. Give it a minute, give it a minute. It's doing its thing. There we go. And we're into this. So you'll get a thing coming up asking you to install it. I'm going to reinstall it. Uh, next. I agree to the terms. Next. And start install. Password. Not the right password. Oh. That's the right password. So now this will start to install. The reason I've redone this it basically, you may have heard the news that you can now export to ProRes on Linux and Windows. So now is the right time to get Resolve in your system. And I'm just trying to do really simple setups for people so they can put on Ubuntu. I'll probably do Mint again. I think I've done that in my Mint script still works. There's, I've done one for Pop, but I think the time out this time I'll do some AMD install scripts. The NVIDIA one's quite easy. Um, once you've got the driver on there, you're off to go. But uh, people seem to be having issues with AMD installation. So I'm going to do some auto install scripts for those password again. Give it a moment. Doing anything, it's going to do anything. Come on, do your thing. Finish. Click. OK, so you'll get that icon appear on the desktop. It may be greyed out. And what you want to do is right click and then, well, you'll get it like that. And you want to right click on it and you want to click that. So let's run it. Now, I've already gone through the installation bit, but you'll get those, you know, this is the non-studio version, so it'll get me straight in. But you, you'll have the installation steps uh, to go through to get it to run the first time. There we are, project launch it up it comes and a bit of new functionality here you can see it here prores 
brilliant cancel delivery and this is the free version this is phenomenal that it's in the free version and then you can go out to ProRes there as well and then we'll quit that so that's it really really simple to install DaVinci Resolve on Ubuntu so now I'm going to do the installation of how to do it with an AMD card okay so here we are in Ubuntu 24 again we're going to do it we're going to do the easy install for DaVinci Resolve using an AMD card and I've got an old one in here this is an RX 580 um, so there's, there's a little bit of this that's a bit more interesting to do anyway so there's the script so let's just make sure it's with the right permission so chmod plus x and then drag it over obviously these two files your resolve zip and the bash bar has got to be in the downloads folder put that over there make sure it's executable yep and then we just run it uh, password and now it'll go through do more than use and make sure that it's got the standard amd stuff now obviously there's a thing called ROCM, which is basically enhanced, as it says here, enhanced AMD GPU support. Apparently it helps with OpenCL. I've built it in, but some of the later cards um, can use it. The newer cards, sorry, the newer cards can use it. The older card, like mine, it's not listed. Anything beyond those can use it and those. My RX 580 can't, can't use it, but I'll just type it in just to show you what happens. It should still work. It will go through, it will check that it's got the files. You don't need to do this if you've got an RX 580, but obviously this is for later cards. It'll run down and pull down and, and then go through the installation. Now the key thing with this is when you finish the installation, finish doing Resolve, you need to reboot the machine for the um, ROCM bit to kick in properly. So just give this a minute to do its thing. There you go, it's inflating the DaVinci Resolve file over there. Here we go, and now we're into launch again. So next, I'm reinstalling it again. Next, I agree to the terms and conditions. Next, start install password. Now it'll rumble in. But as I said, I mean, I've got a Polaris, it's called Polaris chipset on the RX, RX580. So you don't need, it doesn't work with ROCM. They drop the support for it. Um, but the later cards, yes. Uh, so you need to check if your card has, is supported, basically. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Give it a moment. Uh, password again. Is that the right password? Did I miss key? Yes, I miss keyed go come on you can do it there it is it's finished and there it says look DaVinci Resolve install complete please reboot if you installed the ROCM drivers so you now you'd reboot um, but because it's not going to use them I'm just going to show I'm going to run it straight off the bat Here we go, we're in. And obviously you'd go through the setup for the first time up the top there. DaVinci Resolve, Preferences, Memory and GPU, AMD, Radeon RX 580 series, Radeon Polaris 0.1, there it is, OpenCL. So you're good to go. And again, let's just have a look. What have we got in there? Anything funky in the outputs? MP4. Don't think that um, AMD cards, well, maybe the later ones have got their own encoding. MP4, where's that? MP4. Yeah, there's no MP4, interesting. That's because, obviously, with NVIDIA, it's got its own MP4, but there's no MP4 here, but it doesn't matter now. I mean, you could go out to ProRes. You don't need um, MP4, do you? That's what a lot of people, I suppose, have been complaining about. Have we got MP4 on there? Yeah, a lot of people complain that they can't go out to MP4 formats and there's like hacks to do. I've never tried it with an AMD card before. That's interesting to know. 
Anyway, you've got ProRes now. I'm sure that the, maybe the um, studio version has got MP4 built in. It must be a licensing thing. Anyway, there you go. You've got ProRes now anyway. So be happy. OK, quit to inch resolve. And there you go. So yeah, fine. To make sure all your files, the MD install, I'll put the MD install on the link with the standard NVIDIA um, installer and make sure you've got whatever uh, resolve is in the zip. Not Don't unzip it before you put it into this folder because that's part of the process. Anyway, there you go. Um, DaVinci Resolve 19.1.4 on an AMD based Linux installation. Thanks for watching.